Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, we are here from Persistent Systems. Uh, going to give you a little bit of introduction about what we do and who we are and what we've done in the OpenStack space. Nice to see you all here. So who we are? We are a software product and technology services company. Uh, what we do is we provide the ability for a lot of companies to take ideas from their drawing board to complete fruition, either be it on the cloud, be it on uh, any other domain that you want. Uh, that's kind of what we do. We've been, uh, uh, we are a global company. We are headquartered in India. We have a lot of uh, development centers in India, US, uh, France, and Malaysia, and we have a presence around the world. Uh, we are uh, a 22-year-old company, which has been uh, extremely successful with a lot of customers and uh, a lot of product launches in the past few years. Uh, we went public a few years ago. We are listed in India. And we've been growing really, really well in the past few years. And we continue, hope to continue that. Um, in terms of uh, analyst recognitions, we've been recognized as one of the most innovative companies in the cloud space, one of the most innovative service providers in the, uh, in the Asia region as well. Uh, these are a few of the things that uh, uh, we've been uh, doing. And uh, uh, what I would like to do is kind of uh, uh, instead to just bore you with details of what we are, I want to show you what we have done. And based on that, take the conversation forward. With that, I want to give it to Vijesh, who can run with the uh, virtualist demo. And we can talk about uh, stuff later. Yeah, thanks, Sriram. Um, <clears throat> so um, this, is, this is our own uh, you know, private cloud deployment on top of OpenStack. And uh, um, so the name which uh, you know, we have given to this product is Virtualist. And uh, uh, let's quickly go through the uh, demo. So um, traditionally, um, um, uh, as, as Sriram mentioned, we've been uh, you know, working with a lot of product companies. And as, as projects, what will happen is uh, there will be various requests for uh, VM. Uh, and uh, uh, the developers used to always uh, you know, raise a ticket or write an email, descriptive email about what they are looking for uh, you know, in a VM. Um, because for the last five, six years, we had been already virtualized and we are running our data centers on top of VMware ESXA. Uh, but, but the virtualization kind of solved part of the problem. But our CAO had always this complaint from users that uh, you know, whenever I request for a VM, it takes a hell lot of time ranging from you know, two days to seven days to provision a VM. But as a developer, um, they, they really needed something very quick. Um, they wanted to you know, uh, kind of run some scripts on Ubuntu today and get done with that. But that was never possible. So what we did was uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, so this, this is a small scenario wherein you know, when managers are on leave, uh, you know, there are delays in approvals, and then the developer is frustrated uh, with, with the approvals before no, a, a, a VM can be uh, requested. So what we did was, um, you know, uh, the underlying infrastructure and the virtualization was already there. So we took the OpenStack, uh, you know, as the orchestration layer, and uh, you know, as a self-service portal. So we kind of built uh, the the overall product uh, in terms of uh, you know, orchestration, orchestrating the underlying ESX structure, but really with self-service portal. Uh, which means uh, the end users uh, can kind of uh, no, now log into the system, uh, request for a VM, and there are policies and quota definitions you know, which you could configure in the product, which will enable a self-service kind of a scenario. So you can see here, you know, as a user, he's coming, he's placing a request, and he uh, kind of says, what's the start date, what's the end date, and what does he need? and who the approver is. So now what happens is the system kind of goes, um, sends a request uh, to the manager uh, for, for the approval. He can either approve it by email, or if there are no approvals required as per policies, um, now the VM is created within uh, less than five minutes, and the user gets a notification about the instance and uh, you know, where he needs to log in credentials. So the user can you know, easily kind of log in there and then start with his uh, work. 
Um, what also it gives and capabilities, he can really control the uh, you know, life cycle of the VMs uh, and you know, when he wants to terminate uh, and, and what uh, you know, he can uh, do with the actual uh, VM. Uh, what our own production uh, setup and our own experience showcases that you know, the time has kind of slashed by 50%. Um, the complete uh, environment is automated so that you know, there are not actually ops guys who are trying to create this VM and then you know, uh, 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 doing this manually. And uh, we also have a better control on the overall inventory management because uh, when, when, when the stakeholders uh, kind of approve this VM, they get a glimpse of what the cost involved in it and whether their projects are efficiently using the VM or not so that they could go back and check with the teams. I know if somebody is not efficiently using the VM, they could ask them to turn off the uh, VM and kind of share it with the other team members. So uh, basically what we have realized is uh, the time uh, uh, ranges uh, you know, pre-OpenStack deployment was anywhere between two days to seven days, uh, reduced to less than five minutes. And if you include workflows uh, in a day, a person could get a VM and get going. And uh, the overall cost uh, of uh, you know, the, the wastage in, in the sense, uh, there were a lot of scenarios where uh, people were requesting for VM. They simply needed for a day, but they'll put uh, a time range of one week, two weeks, sometimes three months, but the usage would be just for one day or a couple of days. Uh, now, uh, the stakeholders have a better control of you know, uh, looking at the activity and the usage and then turn off the VMs if, if they are not really uh, know, being leveraged. So just, just uh, wanted to cover on uh, you know, the benefits and uh, know how we are leveraging OpenStack for our own private cloud deployment. Yes. So one thing that uh, I want to stress is that uh, Persistent is a single company, but internally we are 300 companies running 300 different projects. Uh, so with 300 different projects going on, there is easily the, cap the capability to kind of create zombie machines everywhere. Uh, the way we've uh, architected this is kind of uh, linked to our Active Directory system to make sure that it's the only the authorized users on, and linked to our MIS system to make sure that uh, the active projects are the ones that can allocate uh, machines. And once the project uh, is expired, there's automatic cleanup. So even if you forget to switch off your VMs, if once the project goes out of scope, the VMs are automatically cleaned up uh, by itself. And this also kind of gives us the ability to charge back accurately to whatever project that has been allocating resources back to what business needs that they were driving. And we can accurately build them as well. So that's something that we've uh, done. So this is just one demo that we have done in terms of, uh, of the work we've done in OpenStack. We have other. Uh, capabilities in the OpenStack space as well. Uh, we've done uh, op uh, the Hadoop on OpenStack. We've done uh, 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 a PaaS with uh, a PaaS platform on OpenStack. Uh, we've built it ourselves. Uh, we've also uh, video streaming. The video streaming is another uh, solution that we have with OpenStack. We'd like to. Uh, uh, we couldn't all fit it into the same demo. We thought we'll take uh, for probably a couple of hours to do this, so we just said uh, we'll take this one. Uh, if there's more questions, uh, we are at uh, booth uh, C6. Uh, so please do stop by or feel free to ask us questions here. All right. Thanks. Any questions? All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everyone.